Well, okay, class. Last lesson, you drew the uh, continuous line drawings of athletes in a sequence of movements. So maybe jumping to and fro. Now we're going to add a bit of color to it. So it's time to crack open the color pencils. I'm actually cheating here and I'm using watercolor color pencils. They're great. If you can get them, brilliant. And what I'm doing now is I'm just choosing a color. Like I've kind of got a blue or a black here. And I'm just filling in areas with patterns. Sort of lines going down here, like bush lines. You know, when you do, when you were younger and did a cartoon and you want to show somebody was running faster, you draw sort of bush lines behind them. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. And I'm just blocking them in in patterns. Okay, so now I'm going to choose a different color pen. I'll go for a green to mirror the green felt tip pen that I drew my uh, one of my figures in here. I'm just choosing certain areas through shading. So sort of quick dark to light shading in these areas here. I'll draw little indicators around there. I'm not going to go too far from the body because I want these greens to have an echo, rather you know, an echo with the figure that's green rather than just being everywhere. So that's sort of echoing the leg kicking up. Changing my pen again now, and it's a kind of ready orange to go with the the ready orange felt tip that I drew the first figure with there. So I'm just taking areas and I'm shading them in. I'm actually doing some tonal work here, going sort of slightly dark from to light. You can see it there. We're gradually just building this up and having a little bit of fun, really, just picking areas that I think work well. So I'm sort of echoing the foot there, echoing the leg, echoing parts of the arm there, shading them in. I'm giving it space. I'm not blocking the whole thing in. I'm giving it space so later on when I add paint or food colour into it, or water to it just to blend off these watercolour pencils. I can blend from one place to another. Okay, it's so just finishing off that orange in there. It's sort of a lighter orange going on now. So I get a tonal effect going from that ready orange to that lighter orange. You can even go to a yellow after that if uh, you want to do the colour pencils. But I'm still leaving a little bit of room because I know I'm going to add paint or food colouring or just water later to blend off these uh, watercolour pencils. I'll sneakily change into blue now for this figure. I want to echo aspects of it. I think I'm getting more confident as I'm doing this now. I'm deciding more what I want to achieve with these sort of echo lines. And as you can see, I'm definitely following the feel of the body there, the feel of the leg, the shape of the leg. And I'm kind of blending the lines off. There I am there, following the uh, arm round at the elbow, just adding a little bit of tone. Really is starting to look like the futures pictures that we looked at uh, earlier on in the lesson. Just again, blending in areas inside it, but leaving gaps so I can blend those colours together or add another colour if I chose. And this at the moment I'm working pretty much all in the background, so I'm not trying my best not to overlap the actual figures themselves. So at the moment, all these colours that I'm putting in are background based. And some shading here, look at the gaps I'm leaving there so I can blend them into each other. Well, I've really enjoyed this. Adding bits here and there just to create these patterns in the background. And I can't wait to add more colour to the next lesson with the paint. So, over to you now. Good luck.